Hey, Holly. I set that new link out. How's it going, everybody? Hey, hey. Hey. I got an error on that you? new link still. I have no idea how to fix that yet, but I, I sent the manual link. Okay, let me, did, did you send it to um, Kim or Jessica too? Uh, I sent to, yes, let me make sure I did to both. Because then I can send it to everyone else. Okay. Okay, there we go. Good to see everybody. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's been awesome. a tough to get good Wi-Fi, but it's been for like little things throughout the week like this. But other than that, we're having a good time with the family. Awesome. Messy hair, don't care. <laughs> hey, who cares? Nice lake breeze, though. It's I don't think I don't know if you can see it, but it's really beautiful day at the lake. Let a few more people in here. Oh, there's this cat, homeless cat here that just keeps meowing like crazy. <laughs> One second, guys. I have an agent trying to get in. Give me one second. Okay. I sent it to my new agents again. Thank you. This time I had all sorts of trouble trying to get in. I did too, to give you that 1979 thing. Yeah, yeah. I, went, I went through a few different avenues too, but finally the, uh, the email, the email is always the last go-to. <laughs> yeah, that last one, right? So yeah. that's my, if you guys wanna put that in your calendar as a recurring event, that, that is, is my, my Zoom link. link. So no matter what Google says it is, they just mask it with a different URL. Um, that is the link, so. I'm just gonna make sure I share that from now on. And today at some point, I'm just gonna look at how to, how to sync uh, Google with Zoom. So. Mark, we could also put this on that shared one that we have and then have one of the VAs open it. That would be great. Let's just do um, that. Maybe that'd be great, but I think so, yes. And yeah, I tried on the site. Yeah, that I tried going off for a SFG agent success conference calls too, and it was the same thing, didn't let me in. Yeah. So I don't know okay. if we can update that one. Yeah, we'll need to update. We'll have to probably put my main Zoom, Zoom link on there, which I'll put right here if you at least want to have that change, Betsy. So my main Zoom link is right there in the chat. If anybody wants to add that to your Thursday uh, meeting schedule. Then if you get the weird back to the future message, it's 1979, just, just click on that and we'll be ready to roll. Yeah, I thought you were doing me a favor because I saw that come up and it says scheduled for uh, New Year's Eve, 1979. That sort of took me back when I was 24 teaching uh, high school history. Right, never know what you'll get on this. Yeah, day. I mean, bring me back to 79, baby, all the time. I'll take it, I'll take I'll it. I'll take it, <laughs> I'd love to be 24 again. Wouldn't we all <laughs> would love that for a week. I'll see what if Google, if someday Google can probably do that too. <laughs> and we got, all right. So we've got a few new people. If you don't mind, just introduce yourself. Where are you from? Who are you direct to? What are your, what are your ambitions here? What are you looking to achieve? Hey Mark, I'll start. Oh. I'm not I'm not new, but I'm back. Uh, just want to say hi to everyone, all the new folks. My name's Dustin. Um, I've been with Symmetry for about two years, 
And um, I took some time off to deal with some family things and uh, had to get a job during that time. Um, but I missed you all so much while I was away and get back into it now and um, building up, building up some steam, building some teams. So you might, um, if you're a part of the level up CRM, you might get some appointments on your calendar because of me. And uh, I know Shelly's been doing a great job doing that too. And um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not new, but I've been around a little bit. So if you have any produ like production questions and stuff, I'm happy to help you. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah, Dustin is no stranger to the system, no stranger at how, uh, um, to how to utilize the system to uh, effect success. And thanks for that generous offer, Dustin. Um, we're all a team here, happy to help you win, you know, win and where we can. And uh, glad to have you back more and more each week, it seems, Dustin. That's my, my goal is to just take you away from that part time and, and get you here full. So awesome, awesome. And uh, Steve Fiorentino, I don't think we've seen you on a Newbauer meeting yet. Would you mind introducing yourself to everybody? No, I'm Steve Fiorentino. I'm uh, new. I haven't, uh, I test this Saturday. So I'm just getting acclimated with everything. Excited to be on the call and be part of the team. Awesome, okay. awesome. Who's your upline? Um, Troy Stevens. Oh, yep. okay. Awesome. Troy's awesome key leader here with us and um uh, and and you got your test on Saturday is that right I do yes Thank you man <laughs> keep taking that practice test get high 80s low 90s, 90s on that and that should be a-okay yeah I'm about to jump on one as soon as we're done here I've been testing awesome. every day so yeah I took that like a hundred times before I actually sat so <laughs> yeah yes you Myself can right well. Kaylee yeah for Shay she's got her first uh first appointments tomorrow right gosh tomorrow already so that's exciting yep i actually have two tomorrow two of tomorrow good for you yes, all right sir. i will uh, well welcome welcome steve i know i've seen you on band and everything else but great to have you here at the meeting um do you, did anybody i don't think we've got any west coasters here was anybody able to make the vegas meeting yesterday I don't think so. You guys are all out east. Um, I know Carrie said he did. He hasn't um, told me how it went though. But yeah, Carrie was excited to go up there. Mm -hmm. um, wow, Carrie Johnson. I he had a um, he had a, a very large policy uh, debt free life. He just helped somebody uh, get that plan in place and get get everybody out of debt. I know he was super excited to go to Vegas, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice, nice. Um, Couple things I wanted to go over, guys. We'll keep it short, but um, and of course, open it up to Q and A. And again, my apologies. I didn't realize until I logged in that we still have that 1979 issue. So, if, if I, we can't rectify that with Google, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take the mask off of the invite, and you guys have the real number. I'll make sure that everybody gets it. Um, hey, Mar, I'm sorry to interrupt. Jessica's already adding it to our other group Zoom, so she's going to update it everywhere. So. Oh, awesome. Thank you. So this link will be on SFG agent success and all that, right? Well, so we'll just do it from the same Zoom that we use. So that way, if somebody else has to host it one week, we they'll always, one of the VAs will always open it. Oh, for orientation, right? Yeah, like with orientation and my work session. So this will just be a part of that. So okay, we don't have to great. worry about it. I just need to get logins for that. And I think we're good. <laughs> I, I probably have them, but I'll yeah. discuss that with you after I think. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um, one of the biggest things they rolled out, guys, I mean, you you can see we're growing faster than ever. Um, Symmetry's poured well over at this point, well over 20, probably this point, I'd say well over $30 million into uh, backend technology and resources to support us. Um, it's why we're the fastest growing IMO in the country um, and probably the best place to build, um, build an agency. Uh, just because of the way they've set up the system, but just the same, if, if you want to just produce, um, there's the producer's track as well. So um, in, on that note, we have a new uh, onboarding portal each of you should have access to, right? And that is, um, you should be able to find that in your portal. Anybody, 
Dustin, uh, do you mind sharing how you access that directly as an agent? And, but real quick, guys, what it means is, you know, before, if you had somebody that you wanted to hire, you'd tell me or you'd tell Betsy, you'd tell Dustin or Steve or whoever, you know, your upline is. And, and the AO would have to send out the invite and, and verify it and everything else. So now we're putting all that um, access into your hands. So if you had, uh, you know, maybe a buddy you went to high school with, like I started with my friend, Steve Devine, who we all know and love. Um, you have somebody that wants to, to jump in and do this, you can send out the invite uh, directly from your onboarding portal. You can track their progress through onboarding to make sure they received it, opened it, and are, are in progress of filling it out. And once they fill it out, um, you'll have the ability to approve the application. Oh my gosh, I have to unmute Rob Sterling. So great to see you here. Can you unmute yourself? And there's Carson Neubauer. What's up, Carson? You got some exciting. Not much, yeah. A lot. Not not much. Probably everything in your world. Yeah, exactly. So you're a notary now. You got and you got something else you're waiting for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good. And you're studying. You're currently in pre-licensing, right? Yeah. Awesome. Good for you, man. Thank you. I hope you get that other thing you're looking to get. No, thank you. Did Dustin disappear? That's why he didn't. Oh, no, he's here. He may be busy, though. He could be um, at work. Betsy, do you know how to access that as an agent? Um, yeah, I'm actually in it right now. You want me to open? Oh, great. Um, sure. Yeah. And also, let me mind, uh, let me share it. How can an agent just starting out? How can a Steve Fiorentino or a Kaylee Porsche, you know, uh, get somebody in, into an onboarding uh, pipeline if they if they find someone they'd want to be in business with? Oh, from from ours from the fire starter uh no from an agent's agent perspective do you have that you mean for the quick okay i'm sorry let me just for which one the to get them into our orientation call or to no sign no them? not orientation that that we will definitely show because i think a couple of you will want to be on that the onboard the new onboarding portal for agents yeah i just put that link here do you want me to uh, share and show that to everybody there uh, we go so, if you don't mind so it looks pretty slick there you go. And so you can just, uh, you can log in actually directly from HQ. All right. And then boom, it just comes up right there. And it's so, it's so simple <laughs> and easy. And when you come right here, your upline. So like, these are all of my agents. So I could choose any one of these. Like, so if Harlan said, Hey, Betsy, I've got this friend that wants to join in. I can go ahead and assign it to Harlan so that, um, yeah. So I think that part is pretty amazing. And That's then funny. you can view invitations. Um, so like I sent out invitations to two people yesterday and they haven't sent it back, which they should have done. So we're following up with them to make sure that they get those in. That's great. All Thank right. you. So easy peasy guys. That's how we track invitations and onboarding. Um, you know, who's doing what, when, and where. Um, I want to, what's the other thing I wanted to cover real quickly? Well, yeah, orientation. Uh, some of you may or may not have been on that yet, including Steve Fiorentino. I'll keep picking on you because I think you're our newest member. And then people like you, John Cheney and Randy Johnson, right? You guys are still getting assimilated. Um, well on your way to SNA, Randy, congratulations. I just want to give it up to Randy. Um, without putting you on the spot, Randy, you are... Um, Kind of a living example of of what we hope to see in in recruits coming on board and that's not you know necessarily for our sake it's for your sake um, we know what it takes to build success here we know how hard it can be in the beginning um, we know it feels like a hot mess for the first couple of weeks right um, maybe longer like it was for me um, but as long as you keep treading water and asking up and you know putting in what we call macc that massive action constant correction um, and focusing on those uh, income producing activities, there's, there are two of them, right? Dialing and recruiting. If you really want to boil it down to how could I get out there and, and really, you know, A, build the business and B, get, get food on the table this week, um, it would be dialing, right? And recruiting. If, if you just ever get stuck, 
those are the two income producing activities. And Randy, you've been off to a great start. I think you started um, as, as Betsy and I recommend in our, our orientation, you know, why not start with the people you love most? Um, a lot of people aren't protected yet. Many people, most of us don't like talking about insurance, right? Um, it's all about the two things people don't like talking about most. So that's a lot of fun for us, right? Death and money. Um, a tough subject that most people are just fine putting off day after day, week after week, year after year. And next thing you know, we're sitting with a 70 year old who's, you know, paying $200 a month for a $10,000 final expense policy. And that's okay. Better, better now than never. Um, but our job is to help people that have reached out looking for that help. Um, and so why not start with the people you care about most like Randy has? Um, at the same time, I believe Randy's jumped right into recruiting, uh, had an orientation with Betsy on her amazing recruiting fundal, uh, funnel, which is where some of you came from. Um, I actually met Randy on LinkedIn, had the pleasure of an interview with him. But Randy, if you don't mind just kind of sharing your experience as a newbie, what do you find challenging? Uh, what do you find exciting? Um, how do you how do you stay motivated and why are you doing what you're doing? All right, on the spot then. Okay. Yeah, um, I said I wouldn't do that, but I, I did exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, well, the biggest thing is is uh, calling the upline. I think I call you I don't, three or four times a day. It seems like even uh, even when you were on vacation with the family, you helped me with the IUL uh, earlier in the week. We were on the phone for about I don't even know almost an hour just filling about out the application minutes. to make sure we got it. Yeah. yeah. I actually had to do two different Zooms with my buddy to get it done, but we got it done. Um, but plugging in, seeing where people are being successful. Betsy was number one in recruiting last week. So I, I had been doing LinkedIn and I, I jumped in with Betsy to hit Ignite. And, uh, they've already sent me two interviews yesterday, which I, I signed or hired two different uh, licensed agents. One's just got their app back. We got to check with the other one yet, but Wow. Uh, we've got two more scheduled for today. I've got another one scheduled for tomorrow of, uh, of a buddy of mine and, um, you know, just talking to people about it, um, plugging into the training, uh, get as much training done as you can. And, and you know, in between, I've got a, a five month old now little girl that's usually sitting next to me, but mama's got it right now um, that, that I'm doing this all for my family is, you know, giving me more time to, to be able to spend with them. Uh, I came from a, a profession where I was working six, seven days a week. 12 to 14 hour days uh, and missed a lot with my son in, in his first few years. And I decided not to do that anymore. And this is allowing me to do it. So uh, biggest fear really for me is, is the, uh, the phone calls, uh, but I'm working through those and, uh, and, and doing the dials and getting better at that. But um, interviews are, you know, easy for me. I've done many of those, but the, the phone calls are the hardest part for me right now, but we're working on it. We're getting, we're getting through it. That's awesome to hear. I mean, again, the definition of courage isn't that you're scared, that you're not scared, right? It's that you act in spite of being scared or in spite of fear. So I commend you for that. You're a great example. Um, thank you for sharing. Thanks for being vulnerable. Um, I, I will say one thing on the phone calls and presentations, I've harassed my family and friends like almost every day calling them and just practicing. So don't be afraid to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I say it all the time. I mean, you, you, every one of us have had that friend or been that friend that needs, you know, someone to help them move. You got no money. Hey, I'll give you a case of beer. I'll order pizza or whatever. If you just help me get this heavy sofa and the piano and, oh, there's that desk. I need to get up two flights of stairs and they'll do it right. All we're asking is for them to sit 20 minutes or so, so you can practice a presentation. Um, and it's not a bait and switch, so don't think of it as that. It's simply a way for you to get in front of people that you're comfortable with and, and vice versa. Um, you're getting through that presentation. But lo and behold, once you start talking about what's available and you run some quotes, um, it can very well turn into helping your family and friends um, get protected and be aware of things that they don't even know what is out there. I can't tell you guys, once you start dialing and putting in high activity, you'll realize a lot of people think this is a, a more expensive than it is. A lot of people don't understand that it's not just the old fashioned, oh, get term insurance. And if you don't die in 30 years, you lost all your money. I mean, we've got living benefits, heart attack, stroke, cancer protection, right? Um, we've got policies with cash value that build cash value tax-free over time. We've got debt-free life, which will protect you day one. 
in case of death or critical chronic illness, but at the same time, we'll pay off all of your debts, including mortgage, credit cards, school loans in nine years or less um, without spending any extra money. It's just a reallocation of everything you're doing. And it comes with software and um, all this neat stuff that helps you accomplish that uh, with a guide in place. So what's, what's that little animation that was going around? Be, be like Randy, right? So anyway, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I do because you're a shining example and start with those you care about most. Ask them if you can practice on them, right? And yes, dialing is easily 10 out of 10 agents agree. <laughs> dialing is, is probably our least favorite part of the business, but that is, you know, that's where the money is. That's where our acts of service come in. I always say this is a numbers game before it's a service game. And we've got to play those numbers and, and work with those metrics without emotion, right? Be a robot first because the, the metrics are there. It's just very frustrating to hear, no, I've already got this, take me off your list, uh, blah, 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 right? Um, but if you're working those metrics and, and putting in that high activity, you're going to get what's in there. Um, you guys have heard me say it before. It's like buying a hundred scratch offs and knowing that, you know, 10 are winners. You don't scratch off 76 and then be like, I'm, I'm done with this, right? It's frustrating, uh, but they're in there. And we just don't know if it's going to be your first call or your 90th call. So, um, Shelly, I saw you had your virtual hand up. It's probably super tired by now. What, uh, did you have a question or did she have to run? Maybe she raised her hand. No, no there I'm here. I see you. I'm here. Um, I completely forgot now. <laughs> no. I had my hand guys. up for so long. I know. Um, oh, I know what it was. Okay. Oh, um, well, one of the questions was, is when you go into that new onboarding thing, because I just tried to do that, and um, I have three agents, but only one of them is showing up in there. So how do I? Um, oh, that is because, great question. You will not be able to check on those first two because anybody that was put into onboarding before they rolled out this new portal is still in the old portal that we can check all day long for you. So if you're a, um, a budding leader, if you're recruiting and you've got somebody in that that's not part of the new pipeline, just check with me, Betsy, Jessica, whoever, um, and we can let you know You know if they've received it, they filled it out just like the, the old days, old days being okay. a week ago, right? Um, but starting now, everybody's going to be going into the new portal and there's just so much more accessibility. It's, it's clean. And Betsy, you know what my favorite part is? You don't have to wait 45 seconds <laughs> when you press my tasks for, for the drum roll. When, when I was in with an agent, I was like, oh, well, it's supposed to be faster. We'll see. And I was like, oh, it's already, it's already sent to you. You should be good. Amazing. It was great. Usually I'm like, oh, takes forever. Me too. If I just want to check something real quick on there. Yes. Happening. yes. Just making sure that everything's in order. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so guys, we had our um, very own Nathan Bowers present the tax-free um, uh, wealth seminar, how to survive and thrive through the next market correction. Nathan, you did a fantastic job. I don't know how many of you were able to make that. Um, but I was really, really proud of you, really pleased uh, with how it went. Um, I encourage all of you guys, if you don't know this, um, we make it known each and every week. We do this as a service and in, in building out an advanced market division in our company outside of what Betsy's doing, the, her wonderful pioneering and the debt-free life side of the business uh, for symmetry or equality as a whole almost. Um, we're building out a, a strong IUL division, uh, Index Universal Life, Tax-Free Wealth, and uh, the occasional annuity. Um, can't wait till somebody here becomes an annuity expert so we can roll those out too. But what we do is every week or so, week and a half, um, we'll put on a presentation like Nathan did. It'll be themed out differently each time. So like last week or two weeks ago, we did a... Uh, one for children and grandchildren and showed the power of the IUL and just what it can do for kids um, and grandkids at just about any age. I mean, 25, no, what was the example we have? 25 to $50 a month, we'll do some incredible things, but we do use the $100 a month example, starting with a newborn a month 
until age 18, and then you stop. You never put money in it again. They have a six-figure retirement income starting at age 65, tax-free. Um, they've paid for college. They've got a down payment for a house and, and little things here and there along the way. So our mission is to help the next generation do what many of us you know, didn't learn until we were 30, 40 plus, right? Um, and hope to pass on that, that information to anybody and everybody that'll listen. Um, and for you guys as agents, wow, you don't have to know a thing about IULs. Come on, learn yourself if you like. Um, but invite, invite, invite. The more, you know, without being crass, the more butts and seats you can get, um, the better off we're all going to be uh, because that just, you know, makes these things more popular for everybody. I offer them for the cook hierarchy as a whole. So Val Zarn's team has nothing to do with us, but Val's team, you know, they were on there. Uh, Rocco Pearson was on there. He said, you did a great job, Nathan. Um, and they had guests on there. So we do this for you guys so that you can invite your friends, family, loved ones. Um, if you've been here a little bit, your clients, let them know that, you know, we're showing something in the, you know, in the, what looks like it is about to be a really big market correction to put it politely. And, um, and help save a lot of people's 401ks, retirement portfolios, 403bs, right? So anybody from teachers and corporate employees all the way to entrepreneurs like barbers, hairdressers, they love these. Something about it. Barbers, hairdressers, massage therapists, um, servers, waiters, waitresses, um, they, don't, they don't have plans like this, right? So pretty incredible that we can offer that 401k. Um, which will be to 401k out of the water any day of the week. And if you didn't see why, then come to our next one. But what we do is we put the invites up on my tatsfreeliving.com. It's just a landing page, nothing special. I mean, sure, you can go look at it, but I don't think you'll see anything there except for last week's thing. But what we do is we update that landing page when we have a new one. And all you guys have to do is send people there uh, to RSVP and we'll do all the work. We'll put on the presentation. Uh, we give them a free book at the end of it on tax-free wealth. And there's a little thing in there when they RSVP, who invited you to this, right? Well, Steve Fiorentino did, Mark Roberts did, Charlene Pham did, right? And, and then we know that when they inquire within that you've got, you've got a new client. And if you don't know anything about IULs yet, that's the best way to learn. Baptism by fire, we'll, we'll walk you through your first couple if you need. Um, Nathan, you did a great job. You want to say anything about that? I oh, hope it's not too loud here. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to you, Mark. We're waiting here. Oh, that's um, right. We'll be ships you know, passing in the night. I would say you're doing a great disservice by not at least bringing up the conversation to whoever you're helping in the, in, you know, in the home. Just because, as Mark said, you know, we're at the worst market day of the year, Tuesday, when I presented that. And even all the other futures, the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, it was the first market day for those since World War II. So they haven't seen anything as bad as then. And we're a total bear market. So if you have friends, loved ones that can hop on a webinar and you're able to help them out, same thing happened with my own dad. If I didn't have that conversation with him a year ago, he wouldn't be retiring if we didn't get him out of there. So definitely have that conversation. Well said. Um, yeah, guys, it really, at this point, given that you're licensed to do this, it kind of is a disservice. I won't say kind of, it is a disservice to not bring up to those you care about that you do this. Um, that this, this transcends the idea of sales and getting your first policies and all that stuff. That's just a byproduct of, of what you'll be doing for people that don't know these exist. Um, we're here up at the lake and I've been annoying my family with these meetings here and there. Uh, we did the seminar, uh, but but my that my awesome oh look at Charlene working away. I'm gonna mute you, Charlene. She's at her job right now. Um, but my my niece and and her fiance, you know, when they heard what this can do, they said, hey, we want to sit down and talk to you about this for for our kids. Uh, my niece is pregnant. Congratulations to her, and um, and they've got an um, awesome, brilliant daughter uh, that can read probably all of us. Uh, read, read us. What is it? Read us in circles. I don't even know. Run circles around us with the reading. But anyway, um, it's a highly beneficial tool that uh, anybody that qualifies can use. And guess what? 
even people that may not qualify health wise, we have ways to make sure they can take advantage of the cash value benefit growing that wealth tax free um, as well by simply putting the insurance on a healthy young and healthy individual in the family. So no problems there. Uh, hey Mark, yes. Do you care if I just one thing real quick because you mentioned Please. that kids policies hundred dollars a month will they take it over at age 18? You're talking about changing the financial landscape of this country to where they can retire. And I ran the numbers, Mark, you know this, in their 50s, age 50, $97,000 a year, 15 more years of retirement on the people's lives. That's incredible. Really is powerful. So if for nobody else, guys, just uh, as Whitney Houston said, children are the future. <laughs> so <laughs> let's help them out. What else? We, and uh, by the way, Julian Tate, $12,000 IUL within the last week. Uh, Randy Johnson, $9,000 IUL within the last week, uh, just a couple days ago, as he mentioned. Got some really, really exciting stuff going on. And it's just just because they asked, it just takes a couple questions, guys. Um, and and the easiest one is what, what are you doing with that safe money and, and with the market, you know, doing what it's doing right now? Um, what else? Bear with me, guys. It's just a lot of Wi-Fi stuff I'm I'm working on over here. Um, I want to tell you about the new recruiting platform. The IUL seminars are getting more and more popular. So please feel free to take part. Um, all I ask is if you're going to come to learn, don't be a professional student. Bring bring somebody with you because I've been looking for for years. There's no no job that pays to be a professional student yet. Um, but you bring somebody with you and you never know what can happen. Let me see. Betsy, you want to add anything? You want to talk about orientation real quick for anybody that's recruiting and may not yes. know? Yes, I would love to. Um, so um, for those of you that are recruiting, whether you're using our platform or not, remember that we have a system that you can get plugged. You can plug in your agents into um, so that they can go through our, our onboarding portal. Um, so let me share here. Um, up here um so if everyone will i'll put it in the chat here too so sfg agent success.com all right make sure that you go there um, all right so if you have someone that you hire so let's say it's a warm market recruit someone you you know you're in an uber or you're at a restaurant and you want to bring someone on board um, this is the best way to do it so you can send them an application you know through the symmetry portal but this kind of gets them access to all of the onboarding stuff that we're doing here um so you the main thing you want to do is register them for the fire starter call so even if you do nothing but this um we'll follow up um we'll follow up and make sure they get everything that they need so you just click on the day so it's mondays um, at 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Now, um, you'll notice here, let's say you're in the West Coast, just choose the right time zone. All right, so whatever time zone they're in, just choose that time zone, and it'll pop up um, in their time zone and send them reminders in their time zone. Um, so you just sign them up, put their name, phone number, email, um, the status. So here, are they unlicensed? Um, are they coming in as a general agent? Uh, the DFL, that's mainly for me um, since I'm hiring DFL agents um, and there's like a different follow-up that we have for them. Um, so mainly just put, are they licensed or unlicensed? Because um, they're going to need to get different follow-up emails. Guys, we want this to be um, simple and straightforward for you all. We, the whole reason was we know what it's like when you start recruiting and you got to follow up with people um, and it's just easy to forget things or like have things get lost in the mix. And so we created the entire system of appropriate follow up. Now, we still want you to touch base with your agents. All right. And connect with them. But this this way, you know, OK, hey, if something falls between the cracks, um, there's a fully automated system that's taking care of my agents. Um, then you put your name. If your name is not on here, just put Marks or whoever your upline is, and then uh, we'll make sure that they get assigned to you appropriately, okay? And, um, and if you're bringing someone on, they're in phase one. They're getting licensed. They're getting their contracts. Then you just schedule the meeting, all right? And so when you do that, they're, they're going to come to the orientation call. In the orientation call, we're 
it's all about next steps. So here on this page, you can come and look at fire starter steps. So what we're looking to do here is just help them take whatever their next step is. So we all, you know, introduce each other, introduce ourselves and we talk about, all right, where, where are we um, in, in the steps? So there's licensing, there's the application. Um, oh, Jessica's been in here because it looks so much better than it did before. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, and okay, the training. So eat all of the steps because God, I mean, you guys know when you start coming on, it's like, oh, what do I do next? What, where's the end goal? It's so overwhelming. So here you can come and be like, all right, I'm here. I've got all these contracts coming to me. Okay, I need to complete these. Okay, now I'm gonna write three apps. Okay, I'm gonna put them into opt. Um, you know, this is just to kind of help help everybody know what to do next, all right? And so these um, orientation fire starter calls, um, for, they're for anyone, honestly, who needs help taking their next step here at Symmetry. Um, and that's why we call it SFG Agent Success. We want everybody to find, we want all of our agents to find success here at Symmetry. So Betsy? Yeah. When they're already licensed, where do we go? Just to the phase two? Nope, because phase one, everybody goes into phase one because even if they're licensed, they still have to get their symmetry contract, right? Yeah, Correct. So everyone, yeah, everybody starts off there. So like here in the, in, in this part, they'll just submit the application and then they'll start from here. If they don't, if they, if they already right. have their license, they don't have to go through this part. Right, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. So yeah. here they would just start here. Okay. That's why we broke that one up into 1A and 1B. Um, right. So if you are interested in getting in on the um, on the recruiting here, we've got the build a team option. Um, so you just hop in here. Um, we've got um, the Kindle, Ignite, Blaze, and Inferno. As you can see, are we're going with the fire theme here. Um, so you can come in, you can sign up, and then you'll. Um, You'll meet with our with Jessica and uh, get set up and, and start building your team. So um, again, that's all here on the SFG Agent Success. Anything else you want me to mention on here, Mark? No, but I will say it was nice. I don't know if you guys saw it, and I'm I'm only saying this to edify Betsy's uh, funnel um, that this recruiting platform. In case you're wondering if it works, uh, uh, we were. I was number one on the leaderboards um, in the in the entire country for recruiting this week, and I hate just seeing my name up there because that's that's not me. That's Betsy's funnel. It's Dustin Hensley. It's Shelly. Right. It's our team. So mm -hmm. what was amazing is uh, I was uh, Edward Pritchett. If you saw Betsy was third. So hopefully not the first time I ever see my my name um, above every Edward week. Pritchett, no. Right. <laughs> But that was incredible. If you guys don't know Edward Pritchett, he's probably one of the top agents in the entire company. He probably does thirty to 40000 in passive income a day, uh, so much so that he moved to Puerto Rico for tax purposes a couple years ago and lives in beautiful Puerto Rico um, and enjoying the fruits of his, his labor. Um, tough, tough labor that we've all seen him do through the years. So it's pretty cool um, to have been above him on the leaderboard with much thanks to Betsy's recruiting funnel. So truly interviews just land on your calendar. Um, they've watched the video, they know what they're interviewing for and just like dials. So, you know, guys, you're gonna get no shows. You're gonna get, oh, is it commission only? Well, yeah, it said it in the ad on the video and three other places. <laughs> so yeah, yes. yes, but it is. Right. Um, and then click, right? So you're gonna get those too, just like you do when you dial. But this is a, this, is a game of service. We work from the heart, but in order to be able to do, you know, that greater good, we've got to play the numbers and really put in that massive action and be willing to do so consistently because a lot of people get tired right when they're, you know, they're that meme of the guy with the pickaxe and the diamonds here. And there's just that much more wall left. And he's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here. My arms are tired. Right? So don't be that guy. Just keep swinging. I promise the metrics will work in your favor as long as you're applying consistency. And as Val says, I love it. Val said, don't, high activity isn't enough, right? Because high activity could mean you're just making the same mistakes over and over again and, and wearing yourself silly. Um, it's high activity 
massive action, right? But with that CC, that constant correction. Well, how do I do that? That's what we're here for. Hey, Mark, I keep running into the same thing. What, what do I do? Betsy, I'm stuck. Uh, what, what, there's so much stuff going on. What's next, right? So don't be lost. Don't, don't be, feel like you're kicked down and, and definitely don't ever be confused. That's what we're here for. We're a text away, a phone call away. We've got meetings about every day of the week that you can pop in and ask questions on. And that's why we do this one here. So um, I want to open up the floor here, guys. I don't have any other announcements outside of June 20. Third, should have wrote it down. Hold on, it's right on the home page. Indianapolis, Indiana is our next big corporate overview. I wish Angie and Amanda had been on this call, but guess what? The reason they're not is they decided to do um, what any one of us can do, and that's turn a meeting into a vacation, uh, just the same. So Angie and Amanda are sisters. Um, they just got their other sister, Anna, involved with us. So three sisters from Phoenix, Arizona, um, hardworking, enterprising young ladies, going to build an empire here. They drove up from Phoenix to Vegas to hear from Jordan Gillum, Jamie Soucy, so many of the leaders in our organization. Um, and guess what? They didn't just sit there for a three-hour boot camp. They got to hang out afterwards. They got to ask questions. They got to associate. And according to Facebook, they're still there having a good time. So I can't wait till they get back. Uh, they'll fill us in next week as to you know why they, they know that these events are so impactful on your success. And our next one is in Indianapolis. Let's get past the slingshot bonus. Here we go, June 22nd. So please mark your calendars. It's right on the homepage of Quility. Get registered. If you're three, four, five hour drive, it's worth it. Um, Randy, I know you're going. Eric Brooks, you're going. Um, I believe Eric Rush will be there, Steve Devine, David Macias, lots, lots of great, great people, guys. So um, get to Indianapolis, Indiana. Is it possible to post a recruiting onboarding link on social media or email that ties my agent code? Uh, actually, that would be a subsequent step, Mark. That's a fantastic question. I wouldn't share the onboarding link on social media because the onboarding link is for you. And from that portal, it goes to their email directly. So they wouldn't be able to do anything with that link um, because that's for us. That's for you, the agent, and your back end. What you would share most likely is a link to one of our corporate overviews. Um, I think I sent the one me and Gabby did, but there's a great one on our YouTube channel. And Dustin was kind enough to organize our YouTube channel so that we've got a whole series of videos, why work with symmetry. Um, Find the ones that are most impactful to you. Those are what you want to share on social media. Say, hey, DM me if, if you'd like to discuss. You know, I'm hiring a few handful of great agents right now. And, um, and from there, you can send them the onboarding once they agree to, you know, make it happen. Make this bold, bold choice that all of us have made here. Um, does anybody have any questions? Anything? Please got a question. Yes. Who does? It looks like Holly does. Yeah, I put it in the chat, but because I knew that it was crazy times and I was kid hurting. <laughs> but um, my question was, I have a couple of people that I've got um, signed up for a DFL appointment with Betsy. And it sends me the notification saying that they booked their appointment. But I just I don't know, like, what's my next step in terms of chasing them around whether they sat for their appointment. I know that one of them didn't because I've been in communication with her, but I like, what's my next step? How much do I need to bother those people to keep the process moving? Okay. Yeah. Great question. And that's from, that was from your um, educator site. Awesome. The referral one. Um, I just realized I need to update the, the pipeline in that and just make sure that there's a trigger that goes out. So when there's a no show that you get that notification too. So I'll just have, um, Jessica and I will work on that. Um, but yeah, they, unfortunately they both no show. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, I mean, just getting them to rebook would be great. And, um, and so, yeah, I'll just update those pipelines. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Holly has Holly and Dominic have a house full of kids right now. The joys of summer break. All right. Anybody else with questions? Got a lot of stuff rolling out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the national call yesterday. That was amazing. Um, we've got some really, uh, I guess your next meeting, if you're new, 
If you haven't been on an orientation or if you're not an SNA yet, if you haven't written your first six apps, um, period, definitely be there. Um, if you're not an SNA, meaning your first six apps in your first six weeks, definitely be there. Um, but otherwise, our next meeting will be on Monday is the cook call um, at 1030 Eastern. And if there's no other questions, I will bid you adieu. And uh, can't, can't wait to see who's recruiting next, who's building their agency next. Randy, great, great job. Let me know if you need any help. By the way, guys, we are here to help with your interviews. We don't expect you to be masters at this, but we do expect you to, to jump in the water and, and paddle, right? Um, just so you know, Chris Cook, uh, I think anyone who's interviewed can, can uh, attest to this. Chris Cook does probably some of the best interviews on the planet because they're concise, they're direct, and he, he just lays it out like it is. And either you want to work here or you don't, right? So um, no dancing around, no 45 minute hour long interviews like me and Randy had to be truthful. Um, no, on the right people, I will spend more time, right? But these are just quick systematized interviews. Chris Cook will post on band um, throughout the week. If you guys see a link that says I'm dialing, I'm interviewing, right? And you're not in the game yet, you're not consistent yet, please click on those links and, and don't, don't be a watcher in the woods, right? If you've got, if you've got leads, I'll tell you one of Elijah Carujo's pet peeves is people that just come on, no camera, no leads, and they're just peeking on his dial session. This is generous leadership, right? We don't benefit from Elijah's organization. He doesn't benefit from ours. Yet we do because we all help each other. Just like Rocco Pearson was on Nathan Bauer's presentation Thursday and got an appointment out of it. I love, love, love that Elijah and Jordan and everybody else are generous enough to host their dial sessions publicly so that you guys can learn while you work and learn alongside a pro. The point is not to just keep watching and taking notes. Again, I'll host, I'm gonna cover this on the huddle up, but if you guys haven't heard about the clay pot study, I think they did at Harvard or Yale or whatever, those that try to learn everything before they do it versus those that just dive in and get messy and do it. Um, the success ratio for those that break more pots and just get in there and get messy and make them are, are far, far greater than those that sit around and study and look at blueprints and how to's and everything else before they dive right in. So again, know that, yes, it's a tall building. You might be afraid of heights, but we're down there with the net. Just take the leap. We got your back. So long as you have our phone numbers, you'll, you'll never be without help. So please take, uh, take heed and um, take advantage of those generous sessions hosted by Chris. If you're interviewing um, any of the other agents, if you're dialing, and learn how to do it yourself, right? Um, what I wanted to say before all that was we're happy to help you. So just the same, if Carson comes to me and says, hey, I've got another new Bauer that wants to do this, wouldn't that be awesome? Um, <laughs> what, but I've never interviewed them. I don't even know how to answer their questions. Can we talk to them? Of course, me and Carson are gonna hop on the call and Carson's gonna say, hey, this is my, my business partner, Mark Newbauer, my mentor, my upline, my associate, whatever. I don't care what he calls me. Um, my, my relative, right? And we're doing this together. So we'll get on the, on the phone or Zoom and I'll answer all the questions they have. I'll do the interview, right? Walk them through. And by the way, an interview is really just letting them know what we do here, right? Um, because they weed themselves out. If this isn't a great fit for them, they wouldn't be a great fit for us, right? That's how I look at it. You either want to do this or you don't. So um, please know guys, we're here to help you. I'll hop on. I'd be thrilled to hop on an interview with you and help you out with that. But I do encourage you again, I'm, I'm a, I'm a helper, not a crutch. So I do encourage you to also, um, do that two or three times with me and then try one yourself. Um, maybe schedule a follow-up with me and you after you've done the basics and definitely plug into Chris Cook's interviews because he does a real great job. And he's got that charming Tennessee accent that Betsy and all those guys have, um, that's, and right. that's all I got today. Right? Right, y'all? <laughs> hey, Mark, I got a question. Yes. Um, yeah. So my one recruit, Beth, she's got three people that want to write a policy with her. Okay. And she's not, I don't know how far she is. Good problem to have. So we can help her as long as she just lets them know, say, hey, I'm with the new IMO. I'm just getting my appointment paperwork done. It should be done in a couple of days, right? I did see that 
Um, I'm gonna look it up right now, Shelly, but I actually saw all of Beth Schenbarger's appointment paperwork. She said her. she's got three people that are waiting for her. Again, a great problem. And that's an right. awesome problem, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> so I saw that Cheery just yesterday. In fact, I love Beth Schenbarger because you know what she did? She went in there and requested her own pre appointments with carriers, which we have to do. So contracting came back and said, wait, whoa have your agency owner do it so i did it um it was done yesterday through cheery and she will be getting all of that stuff over the next uh 24 hours and then i sent all the stuff to my three recruits as far as for band that they had to ask for it yes. to get on band and i've sent all that information to them but nobody has like replied to see and i don't know what's going on if if Will I get some kind of notification that they're on band so they can see that stuff? Yes. So here's what we do. Great question. I'm glad you asked it, Shelly. First of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you about um, Beth Schenberger for a moment. Um, regarding that, we could, we could talk offline just the same, but this is good for anybody recruiting. Just so you know, she's getting appointed with a carrier that you don't have, um, Shelly. So you were sent something today, uh, June 16th, for Occidental. Make sure you look for Assurance Bay from Occidental so that she can get her uh, AMAM -AM and Occidental done. But um, just so you're comforted, everything was sent uh, for pre-appointments pre for AMAM, -AM, AmeriCo, Fidelity and Guarantee, Forsters, Moo, Transamerica, and UHL. So she'll be getting all of those in the next 24 hours. I'd say she'd be appointed by probably top of next week for most of them. So definitely make sure contracting at assurancebay.com, as you know, she, that's, that's where she's going to be getting all her contracting paperwork. And she must, as we all must, docu-sign each and every one of those that comes in. So have her keep an eye out. Um, they will be sending them in the next 24 hours. As for band, guys, band, of course you know what band is, right? I hope everybody here does. I'm recognizing everybody. Um, band is our chat app. It's where all the magic happens. Shelly, when you send them that invite link, the minute they register, it will say, uh, Mark B. Neubauer has just registered Shelly Jackson, you know, welcome to band kind of thing. So it gives an auto message that they registered. So you've okay. seen that where it says Jeffrey Miller has invited. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so that means they got the link and they registered. Okay, now, what, I haven't got that yet. So you, you want to make sure that you share that link with them. And say, hey, make sure you get on band um, or just make sure their orientation, because that's the next thing I was going to say. What Betsy and I will do at orientation is we take a moment to show everybody the link and give them a few seconds to register for band right then and there. We stress the importance of band. We talk about what it does. We do a live screen share of it so they could see it. And then we wait a few seconds for everybody to get in. And that's been been highly effective. Um, and again, guys, if you're in the if you're recruiting and building an agency, it's just like dialing. Some people follow through, some people don't. Some people need a little help. Some people move faster than you can keep up with, and that's a great again great problem to have. So, um, we're here to help and service, and and you just let us know. But these orientations really streamline everything for all of you, and uh, encourage you to leverage them. So, Steve Fiorentino, you hire somebody, you're more than welcome. Bring them to the meeting. We'll get them in an orientation and they'll be on track for the, for the rest of the journey. Okay. Quick things before we go. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. We're halfway through the month. If you're not reading these books, you're missing an important ingredient, right? You're making a chocolate cake without the cocoa or the butter or I was going to say flour. Maybe you're making a flour chocolate cake and those are great too. But you're missing and a key ingredient is the point. So Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, T. Harv Eckert, um, recommend you get the book, but I love his audio book. Um, the author reads the audio. Please get it right now. Just start listening if the, at the very least. Otherwise, all we ask is 10 pages a day. Why do we ask it? Do I get a check in the mail every time you read 10 pages? No, I, I ask it for you because I know what it's done for me. Um, I didn't read my first three, four months here, told my mentor I did. Um, he knew I wasn't. I uh, called me on it and I reluctantly started reading. It was a muscle I had not developed yet. Um, and 
over the course of weeks, my entire mindset business, the way I approach my dial sessions, it all changed. So please, if you're not reading it, do yourself a favor and start today. Um, Secret to the Millionaire Mind. You know, anybody, three, four, five hours from Indianapolis, get them to the meeting. You won't even have to interview them after that, right? It's the whole kit and caboodle. Um, as Kaylee Porsche knows, she went to the Florida one and you guys heard her toast testimony a couple of weeks ago and it was amazing. Um, it's on YouTube if you haven't on our new Bauer agency channel. Um, lots of great resources there, by the way, if you didn't know we have one, we do. It's just called the new Bauer agency on YouTube killer trainings. Dustin does some live dial sessions on there. We've got some virtual appointments on there, corporate overview on there. Anything you could dream of is, is right there at your fingertips. Um, book of the month recruiting that's it if i remember something else i'll email everybody but um if there are no more questions or comments so great to see you guys pardon my super informal appearance it's probably not much different than i look like at the office right it's just outside now <laughs> but uh <laughs> thank you guys so much and i will uh i'll see you on monday's meeting or some of you on the orientation tomorrow thank you mark Thanks, yep. guys. Take care.